This is a political op-ed by Mark Anthony. Hello, I am your host, Mark Anthony. Before I begin this op-ed, let me say this, as I have always said. I have not been appointed as any kind of judge in order to judge mankind. This op-ed is of my own opinion based upon facts. It is not my intention to declare what any one individual should do, or what they should say or believe. I do know, that with every action there is a reaction, I also know, that two wrongs never make a right. That being said, I do however really feel, people should think before they accept anything and everything. In this op-ed, I will be discussing Islam, Islam meaning to submit. Islam is more of a political entity, than religious. The Quran does not contain enough guidance for one to be a Muslim. The Quran repeatedly says that all of the world should imitate Muhammad in every way. Muhammad's words and deeds are called the Sunnah. The Sunnah is found in two different texts, the Surah and Hadith. The first source of the Sunnah is the Surah which is Muhammad's biography. The other source of the Sunnah is the Hadith, the traditions of Muhammad. Political Islam is the doctrine that relates to the unbeliever, these people, these unbelievers are called the Kafir. Islam's relationship to the Kafir cannot be religious since a Muslim are strictly forbidden to have any religious interaction with them. The religion of Islam is what is required for a Muslim only, in order to avoid hell and enter paradise. The Kafirs go to hell whereas Muslims go to paradise, but also its doctrine demands that Muslims dominate the Kafir in all politics and culture. The Quran defines the Kafir as the lowest and worst form of life. Kafirs can be robbed, murdered, tortured, enslaved, crucified, raped, lied to and more. This domination is political, not religious. The Kafir is not only a non-Muslim, but also a person who falls under a different moral code from the Muslim. The Quran has 61% of its text devoted to the Kafir. The Surah, Muhammad's biography, has about 75% of its text devoted to the Kafir and Jihad. Under Muhammad's direction as a political leader and warrior, Islam exploded in growth. Now, think and decide for yourselves. Since Islam is a political ideology that calls for total submission in order to dominate all non-Muslim in all aspects of politics and culture, how can Islam be called tolerant, when its main goal is for complete dominance? How can Islam really adhere to the United States Constitution that of being equal under the United States laws, especially when Islam has its own set of political laws? This does not mean, that Muslims themselves should not be afforded religious freedom under the United States Constitution, because the religion of Islam is what is required for a Muslim only. So in that regard they have their freedom in a religious aspect. The political aspects of Islam is what sets Islam apart from adhering to the Constitution. One more time. Islam, means submission. To submit. This has been a Mark Anthony political op-ed. Thanks for tuning in.